Uh, now, with my colleague of the Statistical Office, uh, Lorenzo Maraviglia, we present uh, our preliminary work, the Italian school system, Lion by Lion. Um, our work starts uh, uh, from two fundamental questions. Uh, those knowing about socioeconomic features of the territory where a school is located improve our understanding of the school itself. And the second one is, uh, symmetrically, can we use our knowledge of school characteristics, uh, like the amount of foreign students, uh, to uh, uh, com com uh, our comprehension of their needs? Uh, we used uh, mixes data from uh, four uh, sources uh, like uh, Ministry of Education, Imbarsi, the Revenue Agency and the IFTAT uh, to understand uh, things better. Combining these different sets of information along with uh, the power of table and map could give us more complete uh, view of the phenomenon. Uh, we used two kinds of data, uh, fundamental uh, tables, uh, data, and geographical information system, uh, G system GIS, uh, to better understand uh, the things. Um, the things of tabular data like uh, uh, us better understand, um, and the GIS data like maps uh, can be combining uh, these sources um, to uh, get a picture of uh, what's going on. Um, the, the process of uh, geocode, the process of geocoding uh, is uh, like giving address, addresses a location tag on map. So when ge you, we geocode school address addresses, we have uh, we are essential pinpointing them on map. In essence, uh, geocoding turn, turns school addresses into valuable spatial data. Uh, to geocoding the Italian school, we used the fundamental uh, four kind of variables: school indication number, address, name of the city, and the postal code. Uh, to geocode uh, school uh, buildings, uh, we used uh, a tools uh, like here uh, that uh, util utilize the geocoding algorithms. Uh, they take school addresses and turn them into specific latitude and longitude coordinates. Uh, the challenge uh, to geocode uh, buildings uh, that uh, often accompany this process, um, geocoding face a few challenges that can impact occur occurrences. Uh, these uh, challenges is like uh, entrance precision, uh, like uh, with uh, uh, spelling errors, incomplete addresses or uh, missing information, multiple or ambiguous addresses uh, that uh, uh, some location can have a similar or identical addresses in different places, uh, lack of detailed uh, data. Uh, geocoding uh, accuracy, in fact, uh, can be affected by absence of uh, detailed uh, information about the building or uh, the addresses. Uh, so, Lorenzo, Um, as uh, Michel said, our aim is uh, um, to try to put together, layer by layer, uh, different informative strata. And uh, these informative strata have uh, different uh, features, different characteristics. I will give you a few sketch, a few examples. This uh, is a representation of uh, uh, chance tracks data. These are um, uh, ch uh, uh, chance data from the not the last uh, chances, the 2011 chances. And here we have represented um, employment rate 
by ch chance uh, threat. Um, uh, I would like to draw your attention on um, the, how much information is uh, conveyed by this uh, representation. These are the provinces of Tuscany, okay? Uh, they are uh, put each one in a... And uh, this is an employment rate, and uh, possibly you can see the, the, the huge difference in terms of employment rate, um, which is a difference which makes sense, which has an, obviously an economic sense, because uh, it tends to... Um, uh, to um, uh, to put at the limits the provincial, uh, the coastal areas, uh, Massa Carrara and uh, Lucca, uh, Grosseto, which have a very low employment rate, and uh, uh, while, on the contrary, internal uh, areas have very high uh, employment rates. This is a structural feature. This is uh, the distinction between uh, seasonal. Uh, economy, uh, which base, uh, which which is based on tertiary occupation, it's based on tourism, and uh, internal areas which are uh, industrial uh, uh, areas. Um, this is the same representation ten years later. Mm? Uh, the same data taken from the last uh, population census. Okay, these are provisional data, not definitive, but. Um, um, uh, they are projected on the same uh, uh, set uh, shapes of the previous um, chances, so we can make a, a, a comparison. And uh, maybe you can see that the situation is, uh, is changing, huh? the, the picture is more homogeneous, the uh, differences are less uh, strong. I think this is potentially a strong uh, um, information signal given by uh, an information that is uh, uh, represented in space hmm, that has been geolocated. Uh, this is the um, correlation between uh, uh, employment rates uh, measured at a uh, tract uh, uh, level in the last two census. You see, there is correlation, but there is also a lot of uh, heterogeneity. Heterogeneity at this level means, uh, um, well, uh, partly it depends probably on uh, measurement uh, issues. Huh? We, we are confronting definitive data with uh, provisional data. But uh, uh, heterogeneity means that probably things are changing hmm, uh, quite rapidly. Um, this is another stratum that we um, geo, geo, I say geolocated. I hope it, it makes sense. Okay, you understand what I mean. I'm not sure about that. Uh, these are data from the National Revenue Agency, and um, in this map uh, there is a representation of uh, um, real estate values. Huh? and uh, obviously there is a scale which is represented. Um, this is a representation taken at the regional level, so it's, um, it's a picture taken from uh, at, at a high level, okay? Um, well, uh, there is a lot of information even in, in, in this uh, picture. Um, the level of information depends on the level of resolution of data, which is something that we can change, we can control. Uh, I think that uh, um, one challenge is to put together this, uh, this strata. Uh, for example, in this picture, uh, we have uh, geo-referenced schools. Okay? The points uh, represent schools. And uh, for every school, we have represented on a chromatic scale the uh, socio-economic average condition of students. Okay, so we have plotted the information about the socioeconomic uh, average level of school uh, against the information about the real estate uh, average value of uh, territories. 
which is something potentially very interesting, which doesn't work at this level because, because it's, it's um, but, but it's a problem of resolution, not a problem of, uh, of uh, potential information um, of data. <clears throat> okay, let's try to, uh, to move to uh, higher geographic detail. Uh, this is a metropolitan area. Uh, it's a small metropolitan area because in Italy we have uh, we have a small metropolitan area. This is Florence, okay? This is Florence, and uh, um, the information that we have plotted at uh, census uh, um, tract level is the percentage of foreign people living in every in every. In every chat, okay, and uh, um, on this information we have plotted the schools, and the color of the schools varies according to the percentage of foreign students. Okay, so um, this is, um, a, I think, potentially useful uh, device uh, which can help. Uh, uh, researchers but even uh, policymakers to uh, detect uh, how the um, presence of foreign people evolves uh, through the presence on the territory evolves through time and uh, to try to understand if there are uh, there is a process of uh, um, concentration of foreign students at school level okay um, is um, an, an enhancement of the previous map. Here, schools are represented with a color which indicates the percentage of foreign students, but the, uh, the size of the points varies according to the absolute numbers of foreign students. Okay, um, well, uh, in order to interpret these maps, this, this representation, we need uh, knowledge about the local situation, about the local pro process, which is something that typically uh, high-level researcher doesn't have, but a uh, local decision maker has. So I think this is a, a, this, uh, work, this instrument give an opportunity to try to uh, establish a link between uh, some research ideas and some these necessities uh, of, uh, of of local uh, administrators, lo local policy makers, and more in general, local communities. And well, uh, I repeat, I I, um, I don't know, I I don't have um, contextual knowledge about the socio-economic situation of Florence. Okay, which is necessary in order to um, to interpret this uh, map. But but there are some so, uh, check. I think there are some some elements uh, which, um, which which give suggestions, which gives a signal. Uh, for example, in, you see that uh, uh, Emiliano, can I move just uh, just for one minute? Yes, yes. Okay. yes of course. <laughs> yes. Manda, he told you you don't have to move. I, I can't. Okay. Okay. You just, can. just one. Uh, okay. Yes, yes. Just one. Huh? For example, in, in this area, uh, there is a high uh, percentage of foreign uh, people in mm -hmm. this area. And, uh, and, uh, but it's not the only area with a high percentage of foreign people. But it's the area where the schools have the higher percentage of foreign students. So probably uh, it's, it's here. It's not here. Okay. This is high... Um, High incidence, uh, high immigration incidence area, but schools don't have a high percentage of, uh, of foreign people. Um, we have to interpret this because maybe these foreign people don't have children. Maybe, maybe if they are Ukrainians, Ukrainian women who care for elderly people who are affluent and live, live in the center of the city, they don't have children. So. High level of foreign people, but uh, 
uh, few uh, foreign uh, children. So the schools in this area don't have foreign people. Uh, I think that this area, which is more peripheral, has a different kind of foreign population. Okay, which makes, but I think this, make, this, uh, this makes sense. This is a, um, this could be uh, an interesting, um, promising uh, uh, approach um, to the question of policy making, an approach which can bring together uh, some research ideas and some uh, uh, requests, some necessities, some needs of, uh, of the local community. Uh, that's the spirit, that's the aim with which we are trying to develop this kind, uh, this kind of research. I made it. Perfect. So Perfect. Okay. It's over. Um, uh, there's a second point, which is more technical, but I think it's important. I just uh, say a few things. Um, we are ge geocoding data. In particular, geocoding schools is a way to try to go, to go beyond the um, IID assumption. Okay? Uh, IID means uh, identical... Uh, I don't, I don't remember. Independent, you, you identical distribution. Independent and identically distributed observations. Okay, as in policy, we are distributing, we are making available a large amount of individual data, uh, individual records. Uh, researcher take, uh, researchers take those data, they make their regression, okay, with individual observations, so beautiful regression with a lot of individual data, um, the, the problem is that uh, our data are not uh, independent and identically distributed because students are um, uh, encompassed in, in the same classrooms and uh, the same schools. We give that information, which is important because it allows the, the researcher to, for example, to estimate multi-level models where this level of dependency is is uh, kept into account. And, uh, uh, okay, uh, I, I can do it, yeah, I, I finished. Um, we are trying to, uh, we are thinking about the possibility to make available the distant metrics of data. Uh, we, can, we can give uh, direct uh, uh, coordinate, spatial coordinates of schools because uh, 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 we cannot uh, uh, allow direct identif 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 identification of schools, but we can uh, maybe we can make available a distant matrix which allows, uh, for example, to model special dependency of data. Mm -hmm. So uh, to estimate uh, uh, spatially weighted regression models or anyway instruments to keep into account special dependence of data. And this is the other, so, okay, we are trying to work to build um, this matrix to make available uh, together with uh, the individual data that we release in open, uh, uh, in open format uh, as, a, as a statistical department of, of Invals. Mm -hmm. So it's possible uh, um, improvement of our um, distribution of data. <coughs> That's it. Thank you for your